Greetings YouTube, it's Thursday. We have the rusty rotor uh, that we need to sort out and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a wire brush like this with my lightweight impact driver and the reason I'm using a wire brush like this is so that we have very little contact metal to metal on the rotor itself because obviously this is gra going to grab hold of the wire brush and stop it doing its job properly so just as an example if we were to, if we were to use a wire brush which is shaped like this pull the pull onto the magnets is massive but by being clever and what we're doing is we're just having a tiny bit of surface area touching the magnets so the this should do its job properly we'll see won't we I may need to go find my little extender bar. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, I do need to explain that this is going to be a two, this will be a two part operation. This will be a two part operation. The first part, getting rid of the surface rust, everything that you can see. And the second part will be using uh, duct tape to pick up all the bits. So, but that worked very well for that little bit. So I shall shut up while I sort the rest of it. So I'm not applying any pressure at all. The speed, the speed of this thing does a very good job, as you can see. close up of how filthy and caked it is. I won't dwell on the long-term solution for fixing the uh, water ingress problem but I do have one. I'm thinking I bought this motor second hand uh, from Facebook Marketplace and I'm thinking the guy may have known there was something wrong with it and that there, the thing that's supposed to stop the water there wasn't any kind of correct seal there and I haven't been able to find the seal the correct size but we'll get on to that. Let's finish this off. I'm just going to start pouring down with rain in a minute. So that's the first part done. Uh, I'm going to take it inside because the rain's coming very shortly. 